Man, Spidey, you're losing your touch. <laughs> Just going easy on you, kid. So, heard any baby names for Gwen yet? Wait, what? H how did you... Who told you? Come on, you think Sarah can keep a secret? That girl. But uh, yeah, we were thinking Peter, if it's a boy. Peter, huh? Yeah, after the lamest Spider-Man in the multiverse. <laughs> You're never gonna let me look that down, are you? What's up, Spidey? Rumor has it you're showing off some fancy new spider moves. <laughs> Only the best for my favorite ladies. And you, Morales? Saving your best tricks for Gwen? Watch out, Morales. Sounds like Wonder Woman's got her lasso set on you. You good, man? You're quieter than a mouse at a cat convention. I just got a lot on my mind. With the baby coming and all. Man, I can't even joke around with other girls anymore. This, ugh, this fatherhood thing, it's really making me reevaluate stuff. <laughs> uh, about that, dude. What's so funny? This is serious. Okay, okay, I gotta come clean. You're not gonna be a father. What? But, Gwen. Yeah, Gwen and Sarah. They pranked you, bro. Pranked me? Why would they do that? They thought you were being a bit too friendly with other girls. Wanted to teach you a lesson? That's... That's insane. I can't believe she did this. It's not... It's not something you joke about, man. I get it, bro. It's a low blow. You know what? It'd really give them a taste of their own prankster medicine. What? <laughs> Switcheroo, dude. I'll roll with Gwen for a day. You hang out with Sarah. They won't know what hit him. Wait, you mean, switch sisters? Just for a day. They pranked us. We prank him right back. It's genius. <laughs> you know what? I'm in. Let's give them a run for their money. So, Gwen, there's something we need to talk about. Oh, what's up, Spidey? It's about Miles. He, um, he knows about the prank. He what? But how? Well, I might have let it slip. Gwen, he's real mad. But it was just a joke. He didn't think he'd actually believe it. Yeah, well, he did. And he's, um, he's considering breaking up. No, he wouldn't. Gwen, he's really hurt. He's not seeing things straight right now. I... I didn't mean... I'll talk to him, I'll fix this. Gwen, how about you and I give this a try? Wait, what? Are you joking? No, I'm not. Uh, I've... I've had feelings for you for a long time. But I never said anything because you were with Miles. Spidey, I never knew you felt that way. Well, maybe this is our chance to, uh, I don't know, show you that you deserve better. You deserve respect, love. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you are saying this. Will you let me show you that, Gwen? Okay, okay, let's give this a shot. This next banger is for our lovebirds of the night. Gwen and Spidey! <laughs> well, didn't expect that. Now we're the stars of the night. A classic Deadpool always full of surprises. You look like you're having fun, Gwen. You're killing it on the dance floor. You're not too bad yourself, Spidey. That was, wow. That was, I mean, you really know how to kiss Spidey? Only the best for you, Gwen. <laughs> you know, I've never been kissed with so much passion before. It felt different, in a good way. Hey, Sarah. Um, you look 
Uh, great. You're not usually this awkward, Miles. Something on your mind? I'm considering breaking things off with Gwen. I mean, uh, a prank is one thing, but this, it's just too much. I had a feeling this would backfire. I told Gwen it was too harsh, but she thought you'd see the funny side. I'm sorry, Miles. You, you agree with me then? That it was a step too far? A absolutely. That's not something to joke about. Thank you. You don't know how much that means to me. There's, uh, something else I need to tell you. What is it? You're scaring me? Uh, this might sound strange. And honestly, I've been grappling with these feelings myself, but I... I think I've always had a soft spot for you. Are you saying... I'm attracted to you, Sarah. I have been for a long time. But I was with Gwen, and you know... I never expected this, but I won't lie, I kinda like you too. I've always thought Gwen expects too much of you. You're a great guy. But if we do this, we have to be careful. We can't let Gwen know. I completely agree. It's a secret. So this one time, I got caught in a web of my own making. Literally and figuratively. How? <laughs> well, I was trying to impress this girl once, before Gwen. I showed her my powers, I told her I was Spider-Man, but she didn't believe me. So I tried to do the upside down kiss thing from the movies. No way, you didn't. <laughs> yep, I did. Hung upside down from a tree, except I couldn't quite manage it. Fell down flat on my face. She never let me live it down. So much for your superhero charm. <laughs> Your turn. What's your most embarrassing story? Fine. I once told Gwen I could do a backflip. She, of course, dared me to do it. Oh, yes. Landed flat on my back in front of the entire school at an assembly. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sarah! That's epic! heck was that? That, Sarah, was a monster. I can see that. What is it doing here? Uninvited guest. I didn't even think we had monsters in Fortnite. I can't believe it. We survived a monster attack on a date. <laughs> yep, and you were worried about the boredom. Miles, thank you for saving me. Wow, that was... Unexpected? The best. The best unexpected thing ever. Man, you won't believe what happened. Let me guess. You and Sarah fought off a horde of Fortnite zombies. <laughs> nope. Try a monster. A monster? Yeah, freaking monster. It just jumped out of the bushes, jaws wide open, teeth gleaming. I swear I saw my life flashing before my eyes. <laughs> and here I thought my date was crazy. Yours included a literal jaws moment. <laughs> well, I saved the day, played the hero. Sarah was pretty impressed. Oh, so you played the hero card, huh? Classic move, Morales. Hey, I learned from the best. <laughs> so, guess who also had an epic date tonight? Let me guess, you fought off a robotic octopus this time? All right, Casanova, spill the beans. So, we're at the nightclub, right? Guess who was the DJ? Who? Deadpool. The man himself played a track just for us. We danced, 
We laughed, and dude, we even kissed. Man, you really are living the dream. <laughs> and let me tell you, Gwen is an amazing dancer. Well, looks like our plan wasn't just successful, but way more entertaining than we expected. Gwen, I need to tell you something. I've been seeing Miles. You've been what now? You've been seeing my boyfriend? Behind my back, Sarah? How could you? It's not like that, Gwen. You and your stupid prank, it backfired. Miles found out he was upset and, and he broke up with you. I didn't plan for this to happen. It just, it did. So what? You just swoop in and take my place? Were you waiting for this, Sarah? To take what's mine? He's not a possession, Gwen. And for the record, no, I wasn't waiting for anything. It just happened. You need to own up to your mistake, Gwen. It's funny, you know. I've been seeing someone too. You have? Spider-Man. We, we had this crazy night at the nightclub, dancing, laughing. We even, we even kissed. And it felt right. I was so mad at Miles, I didn't know what to do. But with Spider-Man, everything just seemed easier, simpler. So we both ended up with each other's boyfriends. What a mess we've made. Maybe we should just go with it, see where it leads us. If we're happier with them, who's to say it's wrong? Deal. Let's just roll with it and see what happens. Breeze Bell, she's like a mythic scar of this place. Rare and stunning. Yo, <laughs> it's getting hot out here. Or maybe that's just breezy over there. You gotta mix it up a bit, sweetheart. This island has a whole party scene. Mom, this is how I roll. Book parties are my jam. Party for one, huh? That's straight fire. Yeah, today's gonna be lit. All good, just needed a quick dip. Time to pack it up, sweetie. I sense some prying eyes. Maybe I could meet that boy over there. Boys, you've got bigger fish to fry, honey. Like getting into a good college. There she goes, like a legendary llama you just can't reach. I heard about Breeze Bell, yeah, but I never actually talked to her. Now that I've seen her, man, I get it. I need to get to know her, like, for real. Not some sort of Fortnite quest, but a personal one. Mission Get to Know Breeze Bell is officially a go. I've got this. I'm Miles Morales, after all. All right, listen up. We're dropping into a new mission. And it ain't about dubs this time. Mm, you look like you just popped a chug jug, dude. What's up? All right, don't clown me, but it's about Breezabelle. Breezabelle? Our Breezabelle? Dude, she's all into war and peace, and you're, well, into war and peace. Yeah, and you're more about combat and cranking 90s. You sure about this? Oh, I'm sure. I can handle a few words. Might even learn to like him. <laughs> yeah, and I might turn into a strawberry. <laughs> Very funny, Banana Man. But I need your help. She needs to see the real me. Beyond the superhero stuff. Alright, Romeo. We got you. But remember, you can't fake this stuff. You gotta be you. Got it, kid. Just be me. But uh, maybe with a touch of poetry. some kids trying to get my breezy on a date not on my watch <laughs> you looking for someone kid uh no nah, just enjoying the sand it's really uh, sandy i heard some chatter you and your buddies are trying to get my daughter on a date um your daughter 
Breezy? Nah, <laughs> we're just, um, pals. You know, just hanging out. Pals, huh? Well, let me tell you something, pal. Breezy ain't got time for hangouts. She's got books to read, colleges to get into. You feel me? Yeah, totally get you. Books, colleges, got it. And if I see you around her, well, let's just say, you don't want to see me angry. Got it, sir. No hangouts. Just sand. Kid, ain't ya? Who, Miles? Nah, we just uh, share a locker. Locker buddies, huh? Let me make this clear, fruit boy. My daughter ain't some victory royale you and your boys are chasing after. You catch my drift? Yes, sir. Loud and clear, sir. And if I catch you hanging out with her, you'll end up in a real life blender. Got it? Smoothie thread. Noted. Last one. You're not off the hook, kitty. What the? Was that a flare gun? You're with that spider kid, right? Spider kid? You mean Miles? We just hang out sometimes. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, kitty. My breezy ain't a loot chest you boys are hunting. Comprende? Crystal clear, sir. And if I catch you raiding around her, your nine lives will go down to zero real quick. Point taken, sir. No more raiding. Guys, any luck? Did you find her? Find her? Dude, we barely survived her dad! Yeah, I think I lost a life today, and not in-game. <laughs> you guys are just being drama queens. So her dad's a little intense. Intense? Bro, he threatened to turn me into a smoothie and blew up Kit's bike. He's not just intense, he's explosive. Aw, oh, look at you two. A scared banana and a fried cat. What a team. All right, Spider Kid. You can mock us, but we're done. No more Breezabelle hunting. I don't want to end up in a blender. Yeah, I prefer my fur unburnt. Count me out too. Well, more adventure for me then. <laughs> you guys can stay here and sip on slurp juice. I'm not afraid of her dad. Who knows? Breeze Bell might just be my future wifey. All right, Miles. You've got this. Time to find Breeze Bell. <laughs> Breezebel, always lost in her books at the beach. Uh, they say, always find a girl that reads, right? Or was it reads? Man, I never really got that. Dude, slow down. And maybe we should have brought a flashlight. Or ask Loomy Jelly to come with us. He glows in the dark. I can't believe the guys ditched us, just because of her dad. He's scary, sure, but what's the worst he could do? Ground us? Worse. He could tie us to a tree and leave us for relic. This is it. This is where Breezy's been hiding. Now remember, be cool and don't mention her dad. Yeah, right. Cool. Cool as a cucumber. Uh, a very, very scared cucumber. So 
So you're telling me you really rode through the jungle alone just to find me? Hey, what can I say? Your beauty calls out louder than the foghorn at Lackey's Lighthouse. You're crazy, Miles, but, you know, in a good way. Yeah? Well, I've always wanted to be the good kind of crazy. Hey, Breezy, I have a question. Go on. If you were a Fortnite skin, which one would you be? Miles Morales, are you seriously flirting with Fortnite references? Can't help it. Guess I'm just a love ranger when it comes to you. Breezy, is that? Dad. Breezy Bell, is that you? We need to get out of here. Now. <laughs> Your dad is more terrifying than the storm circle closing in. I did warn you, Morales. Stop! Miles Morales! You're dead meat! <laughs> that was, uh... Insane. Morales! You're about to wish you stayed on the water. I hope you're up for round two, Breezy. You sure know how to plan a first date. <laughs> Whoa! This beats any battle royale, don't you think? I can't believe I'm saying this, but... Yeah, it kind of does. <sighs> I gotta admit, Breezy, your dad's cardio routine is insane. Well, he does believe in staying fit for the fight. And here I thought Fortnite was just a game. I didn't know it came with real-life boss levels. I did warn you. You could have backed out. I miss out on all this fun. No chance. Thank you. For all this craziness, it's different. Different good or different bad? Different good. Definitely different good. Well, um, I was kind of hoping for a different kind of different. Oh. And what would that be, Morales? This kind.